Wakey, wakey. Come on. Wake up. Hey. Oh, what's all this then? I bumped into your landlady downstairs and she helped me make you some breakfast. Oh, I do love Mrs. T. She seems really sweet. Look, really, it's just another way for me to say thank you. I really didn't know where to go. Do you? Hey, don't mention it. And I wasn't even sure about coming here because of our history. It was a long time ago. Anyway, I'm glad you called. I've actually missed you. Do you know what, though? I think in all of this, I'm actually more worried about my little brother. What? Oh. Yeah. Well, why? Because you're not there to help him with your dad? It's not that. I mean, Dad loves him to pieces and thinks there's still even hope for him. It's just that, do you know, he's 20, nearly 21 now, and he's still single. You're worried about Ollie's love life? Yeah. What's so hard to understand? I mean, he won't even go to university until he finds his true calling. Oh, and well, what about you? What about me what? What's the update on your love life? Now, come on. You can't tell me that someone as pretty as you is still single? Don't even get me started on that. My love life couldn't be any more boring. There was this one guy. He's a lot older than what I normally go for. But he turned out to be a total ass. I just want to meet someone special. Someone who's got the potential to last. I guess I just haven't met the right guy yet. Yeah. Well, I for one would be really lucky to be with someone like you. <laughs> Stop it. No, I'm not kidding. You're funny. You've got a beautiful smile. <laughs> You're just... You're just one of a kind. Do you really mean that? Yeah. Every single word. Please say something. Please let me explain. Just stop there. I'm not going to shout, and I'm not going to complain to Mrs T about you either, so... So you don't need to worry about, about getting kicked out. All... All I want in return is... Why the hell are you sleeping with a married man? Especially after you opened up to me about wanting to settle down and start a family. You always do this. You do these... these things without thinking about the consequences. I do! Obviously not! You've probably just ruined a man's marriage. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry isn't enough. Last year, we were together for almost eight months. Eight months! And then, out of nowhere, you just ended it without any other words except, I'm sorry. I didn't know what else to say. I just want to know why you ended it. Why you left me, Kathy? I just got scared. S scared of what? Commitment. Everything was moving so fast. And you didn't think I was scared? I wasn't ready either. I was just talking about the future. What... What I thought could have been my future with you. It still could be! I don't know.
I need to go for a walk. Where are we going? I don't know and I don't care. I just... I just can't be in the same room as you right now. strange but yeah I do. After everything she's put you through. She left you with no good reason for the first time and now she's cheated on you. How did you know she's cheated on me? Oh, come on, words still spread faster on this town. Anyway, you're avoiding the question. Do you actually still like the girl? No. Well, well yeah, but I know why she left me last time. No, you don't. That girl will always be scared of commitment. But she said that... I know what she said, but she doesn't mean it. Really? Really. She wants you to think that, you know, because she's come to the age where she thinks that she's going to be alone. You know, so she looks for someone who's still hung up over her. No, no, she came to me for help. Help? Oh, come on. She sees you as an idiot that she can have any time she wants. That can't be true. I'm sorry that I'm the one that has to tell you this, but you can't see the truth. Really? I mean, you know, you need someone who's good for you, you know? Someone who, who's eager for commitment, who, who, who wants a future, you know? You need someone like I can't believe you. I can't believe you, Anne. No, I'm trying to help you. By hitting on me? Come on. But just as I'm opening up to you, you tell me all this rubbish about Cathy. It's not rubbish. Cathy is no good for you. I need that you. Oh, don't say that. Why? Because it's true. Just who takes advantage of someone when they're so fragile? Cathy does, because that's the type of person that Cathy is. And you just tried to do exactly the same thing. <laughs> 